Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take a look at the Edge Router Infinity, which is the router in the rack. If you saw the videos, we're going to take a little bit of a closer look at this. We're going to talk about the specs. I am waiting for the newest version of the firmware that is in EA. I'm waiting for it to come out as GA, General Availability, before we do the video on this. And and Ubiquity told me they are they're close, right? So let's take a look at the Edge Router Infinity. Some of you are familiar with it. Uh, if you're not, it is a very nice piece of hardware. It runs Edge OS. It has one gigabit RJ45 port and it has 10 <clears throat> SFP plus ports. It does have hot swappable AC or DC uh, PSUs and it is rack mountable one use. So you can see here, here it tells you that it has an 80 gigabit aggregate throughput. But we're going to talk about a couple of these things. So we come down here and we take a look at the front. So over here you have a status light. So you should be familiar with these status lights by now if you've worked with edge devices. Here you can see it's white. If it's joined and booted to UNMS that should be uh, blue I believe or maybe blue is unjoined. We're going to find out when we get that done but I, for some reason blue is sticking out in my mind. Of course you got the logo here. Here you've got your light indicators. Here there's a micro SD expansion slot. You've got a USB port, that console cable here, and then you have your eight 10 gig SFP plus ports. You've got your copper port here, then you have your reset button. On the back, you've got the system fans, and then you've got your hot swappable power supplies. I do have two power supplies in mine, and I have an extra one on the shelf. Right here, this is measured in millimeters just know it fits in the standard 19 inch rack and in one U and is uh, it's not super deep if you've got if you've got an edge switch 24 it's that deep it's as deep as uh, the uh, UXG gateway so that gives you a little bit of an idea let's take a look at the tech specs here so the mount adds uh, 0.2 pounds so in it it's a it's a hefty box there's a lot of i call it big iron right so <laughs> who knows somebody's gonna get mad about that but it it does weigh over 10 pounds that's uh, measured in freedom units come down here it's got a mips 64 16 core 1.8 gigahertz processor so it's got plenty of processing speed it's got 16 gigs of ddr4 out of the factory on board flash, you've got 8 megs and then 4 gigs here. Here it shows us our interfaces again, the hot swappable uh, PSUs. Max power consumption is 100 watts. It does have the factory reset button. It is rack mountable. It tells you here that the ambient operating temperature is 23 to 104 degrees. So let's talk about that for a second and also the ambient operating humidity is 5 to 95 percent non-condensing so when a manufacturer gives you the ambient operating temperature this is the temperature that they would like to see you the ambient temperature of where this is going to be running if you have an ambient temperature of i don't know 150 or 200 degrees obviously you're going way past that you risk damaging the unit and I'm not 100% sure how all the manufacturers handle doing an RMA for that. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, that being said, I do know quite a few people that have these out in non-air-conditioned, non-heated enclosures, and they just keep chug a lug a lug -ing. So the other thing that I want to talk about on this is that your SFP ports, and you should know this, going in so that is not a surprise currently with the edge router software and I, I don't know that this changes because i think this might be an actual hardware limitation when i come in on 
the first, let's say I come into ETH1 because your gigabit uh, Ethernet port is ETH0. So let's say I come into ETH1 and I change the speed in the duplex on this. It will do that for for ETH1, 2, 3, and 4, but then 5, 6, 7, and 8 are kind of split, right? So you need to know that going into it so that you're not you're not surprised. This thing is, I don't have it running right now. When we do the video on it, I'm going to have to switch mics. I may have to film from another room because in this room, it's pretty loud. But I'm also hoping that the 3.0 um, firmware will change some of that fan control a little bit. You can do, there are third-party fans. I, you know, I know a lot of people put those third-party fans in the gear. I tend to not do that because most of the time, I mean, I am running in a lab, but Typically, my lab is not in my office. It's in a separate room. But for this set of videos, it is going to be in here. So I might have to figure something out. I might have to, like, pad the back of my chair, create a wing or something goofy. Um, and, or I could turn the fans off via the command line and just have to keep an eye on the temperature of the device while we're filming, one of the two. Or move that to another room, keep the fans. Or hopefully Edge OS 3.0 will give me a little bit better control over those fans. I mean, I guess I could swap the fans, but I really don't want to get into that because that's not my bag. There's a lot of other people. I'm sure you can find all kinds of videos. I tend to leave things stock to the manufacturer if physically, right? Like I'll SSH into this and I'll run, uh, you know, different um, hardware and stuff on it or different software because it is, you know, Edge OS is based on Linux. So you can do some pretty cool things, but... You just, you got to have the facts when you go in to run this. So this is our router of choice. They do have a UISP router. Let me see if we can find that here. We'll go back to this. Let's see. There is a UISP router pro right here. But I don't, I don't have, I don't have one of these. Um, that I can run here. So it does have uh, the UISP Router Pro. If, if I get one of these, then we can show both of these. So right here on the UISP Router Pro, it says it does OSPF routing. So that is another thing on the, on the Edge Router. This does static, OSPF, BGP, RIP, it does a lot of, it handles a lot of routing protocols. So it really works for what we're doing here. And it's my understanding, unless Ubiquity corrects me, that this device will be supported for a while. I mean, they're showing their commitment, right, to the edge line with coming out with the Edge 3.0. So I'm super excited about that. As soon as that software drops, we'll be loading it on the router. We'll be doing that that video. In the mean, meantime, I am going to go through each of of everything in this rack so we can talk about it. We know what it is. I mean, I'm going to go through all the, all the modules, all the, the connectors, all the cables, all the things. Uh, and, and just so this is as thorough as possible. So if you've got any questions about the edge router infinity, let me know down below. I do have several of these in production that I manage, um, on a daily basis. And I think they're great. They've never caused us any problems. And the fact that we've got dual, hot swappable power supplies is fantastic. So if you got questions about this, let me know. And when we do the actual configuration video, I'll answer any questions from this video in that video. So go ahead and ask away and make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link to support the channel. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. And also head on over to community.willyhow.com. Sign up for a community. Come on over, ask your questions, put your input in, help us build our community. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.